Here are my thoughts about this Chrome OS Flex by Google. I have installed this one and used it. So if you want to watch the video tutorial, it's in the later part of this video, or you can jump into the video description and jump to that tutorial right away. Now back into my thoughts about this one. Chrome OS Flex is a very lightweight operating system. Just think about the Chrome browser that is turned to an operating system and you can install it as an operating system for your computers or your laptops, right? So once you use this Chrome OS Flex, you are limited to the Google apps like Google Meet, Google Sheets, uh, Google Drive, all of these kinds of things. And it is heavily reliant to the internet. Now this is actually targeting older laptops or computers, or even if they are new, if they are slow to run the Microsoft uh, environment out there, this is a perfect option for you. Especially that the Windows 11 of Microsoft is not going to support older hardware. This is a perfect solution again. Don't think about the Chrome OS Flex as a replacement for a Windows operating system. No, it's not. The Microsoft operating system is more of a heavy load kind of operating system and this Chrome OS Flex is more of a lightweight one that you can use like browsing, surfing the net, watching YouTube, all these kinds of things that you can do with the Google. Chrome OS Flex is like the Chrome browser turned into an operating system. It has its own use cases. The Windows environment also has their own use case. So if you want to watch how you can install this one, let's go ahead, jump into that one, and I'm going to show it to you step by step. Okay, first up here, guys, you just open up your web browser, then type in Chrome Web Store in your search bar or your link there. Chrome Web Store will appear. Click on that. And then here on the upper right corner, type in Chrome OS Flex. All right, then... Chromebook recovery utility will show up. Just click on here, add to Chrome, and then add extension. Then just after that, you will see a notification here. You can go ahead and click that icon, or if you did not click that one, just close this one first. If you did not click that, you can always see it here. Chromebook recovery utility. Then of course, when you have it here, there is a notification that says you need to have eight gigabytes of USB or higher. So let's just go ahead and get started. I have that one. If you have a model number of your computer, you can type it there, but if not, just go ahead, proceed, and look for the Chrome OS Flex in this first drop-down menu. So I'm scrolling down here. There you go. Chrome, a Google Chrome Flex, OS Flex. Then Chrome Flex, there you go. Continue. Then it's time to plug in your USB stick. If you have plugged that one, you should be able to see it here. SanDisk for me, that's 14 gigabyte. I'm going to go ahead and proceed. And then I'm going to create. And there's a warning there, guys, that if there's something in your USB stick, it will be deleted. So this will take around 20 minutes because it's going to download. After it's going to download, it's going to copy it there around 20 to 30 minutes. It depends on how fast your USB stick. So we're just going to fast forward this one until the next notification, okay? So if you've been following me, um, it's already past 25 minutes and now we're almost done. I have to cut down the video and there you go, we're done. Success, your recovery media is ready so we can unplug the USB stick and install it to the old computer that we have or any computer that we want to make it as a a Chrome computer, as long as it is supported, of course. All right, done. Unplug that USB stick, get ready. This is the Dell Optic Optiplex that I have. It's uh, uh, rated for Windows 7. Um, I'm going to plug that one. By the way, Windows 7 is retired year 2020. So plug it, power it, and then make sure you have the boot mino for your keyboard. For me, it's F12, you, you figure it out, probably F11 or F1, F10, F9, probably. Now, when I booted with that, uh, this option will show up. I'll boot from the USB stick. There you go. Then I'll just wait. So it's going to load up. Then Chrome OS Flex is loading up. Here we go. Okay, so welcome to Chrome OS Flex, fast, secure, effortless. Wow. So let's just jump in, get started here. 
then there are two options that we can get. It's either we try it or we install it. So if, if you want to try it, you can just go for the second option. But for us in this video, we're going to install it. Then, okay, a notification there from um, Chrome that it's going to um, delete everything in the hard drive. So make sure you have a backup of that one or make sure you don't need what's in there. So here it says it would take up up to 20 minutes depend depending on your device, all right? So yeah, we're just going to wait until it's done. Okay, so I'll be back again when it's done. So just after that, it says here 14 seconds. We're just going to wait for that. Of course, I cut some of the... Um, time here so that we are not going to wait, uh, especially if you're following along with me, you can post the video, right? One second. Okay, we need to remove the USB stick so that it's not going to boot in the USB stick. Now we go, welcome to Chrome OS Flex. Get started and then we're going to connect to the internet. That's my uh, Wi-Fi T Pro. I'll just type it in here, connect. Then, whoo. It's up to you for personal, for a child, for work. So it's your option. For me, it's going to be for personal. So for work, then you need to type in the email address for work. But yeah, go on. Checking for updates. Now this is going to do some updates. Software updates will happen in background, but this is the first time you're going to do this one. So you cannot proceed. You need to update first. So again, I'll be back when 10 minutes is over. So it's just four minutes, but it's restarting to apply the updates. All right. Let's just wait up. Chrome, use your Google account on your Chromebook. Of course, we need to have our email address. That's for Google always. So I'm just going to type in my email for you and then what's next is trying to set the settings for your computer. So you're all set. There you go. Ba bam That's how easy it is. And I hope you are also successful in installing that one. Um, you can navigate all around it, try it. I don't know what else you want to do. Okay, to wrap these things up, I've already mentioned that uh, there's a use case for your Google uh, Chrome OS Flex um, and at the same time um, you can use this one for older devices okay so anyways if you have any questions regarding how you are going to install this one or you've been encountering some problems just drop a comment down below and I'll try to answer them as much as I can so once again I'm signing out I hope you have learned something from this video guys Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. And of course, give this video a thumbs up because it helps this channel grow. See you on the next one.